Welcome back everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showcasing one of the things that is could actually help you and don't start together. I'm going to actually make another science machine, sorry, another alchemy machine over here because that tall bird was about to come over here and get me. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to showcase what I think is one of the most important things in Don't Starve Together. And that is an easy way of raising your sanity by pre-crafting, sorry, by crafting items in Don't Starve Together. So DST essentially says to you, hey, look, I know you haven't crafted something before. To encourage you to do so, let's give you a little bit of sanity. Essentially, it makes sense because your character will be like, wow, I'm so happy now. I made something that I've never made before. Let's give my sanity a little bit of a boost. So as you can see, I went ahead and I obviously reduced my sanity just a smidge so we can showcase what we can. What you would end up doing is basically gathering normal resources, just walking around. And when you craft something that requires a little bit of science, for example, your tab will start to light up. It'll show a little light bulb icon and basically say to you, look, you can make something over here. Do you want to make it? And when you do, you will gain some sanity. So let's go ahead and make a rope. And voila, I've gained a little bit of sanity. And just as we scroll down, I can make a wood fence and I can gain a little bit of sanity. Looks like to be around 15 sanity and then you're ready to basically wander around and your sanity levels are back to almost normal. Now, is it wise to craft things that you know that you don't normally need? Well, I might save that for a time when your sanity is obviously hard to come by and you might want to craft something just, you know, for the for the sake of just crafting to get your sanity up. But more than likely, it's something that I think, I mean, I hope Clay could eventually take into consideration. I made a post on their forum stating that I think the fact is that if you're going to make a new recipe, you should also be getting the same thing out of it. So, for example, if you went through the process of actually making yourself, you know, a fr your first fruit. What the heck? Why is it not crafting over here? Anyways, let's come on. Come on, Crockpot. I know you want it. Okay, well, this craft, this Crockpot is someone. I don't know why it's broken. I don't understand. Maybe it's because of this. Let's let's just try one more time. There we go. Voila. Okay. Anyways. So, for example, if Clay decides to do this, I think they should do this with recipes as well. You let me know in the comments if you think it should. But essentially what I think that they should do is basically if you've never made a recipe before, you get some sanity from it. Why not, right? I'm going to make a video on it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to link Clay in it. Maybe give a little, a little bit of a nudge. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But nonetheless, that is how you gain a little bit of sanity for basically crafting something. So go ahead and do it. And also let me know what you think about the idea about doing it for recipes too. I think they should add it. But like I said, let me know that in the comments. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.